I've had a few people recently reach out to me and ask what do I use to record my videos, edit my videos and what equipment I use. So today I'm going to go through that with you. So starting off I have recently upgraded so I used to shoot on a Canon 600D digital SLR. I'll be honest it was a great camera for photography, these pictures here being some that I took but unfortunately taking videos with it just wasn't particularly great. And this is what I've replaced it with, the Sony Alpha 6000 mirrorless digital SLR camera. This is a 24.3 megapixel camera which is able to shoot up to 1080p 60 frames per second video and it's also got excellent autofocus with 179 phase detect points it's absolutely perfect for what i want although i do miss the articulating screen of the canon as you can see this screen only tilts in one direction it's not quite as good as the canon in that respect everything else about this camera is absolutely fantastic it's going to be great for photography it's going to be great for shooting my youtube videos it's nice small lightweight has all the features that I want, excellent video quality as well and super fast autofocus. It's also brilliant in low light as well which is excellent just what I need and yes so far I'm really impressed with the quality on it. It's got excellent depth of field, it's got great autofocus, great build quality, it's excellent size, it's got loads of features like Wi-Fi and NFC etc. Leave a comment below and let me know what camera you use to capture footage. I've also got this, it's a DB Power EX5000. It's a bit like a GoPro, shoots 4K. I don't use it that often but it's handy for certain videos. For editing videos, I don't use anything like a macro keyboard, I just use my normal gaming keyboard on my normal PC. So nothing special there in terms of macros, but I do use the Elgato Stream Deck. This means I can have shortcuts for using result, which we'll get to shortly. This is absolutely fantastic for quick editing of videos, makes macros a lot easier to use, a lot more versatile and speeds up the editing time. And I just have this currently sat underneath my monitor at the moment. And the monitor that I use is the AOC Q27 G2U. It's a 20 7 inch quad HD 144Hz gaming panel. Excellent for gaming, super fast response time, supports G-Sync and FreeSync as well. The only downside is the colour reproduction isn't quite as good as what you'd expect on something like an IPS panel. My primary microphone is the Blue Yeti. It's a fantastic microphone highly recommended by many youtubers easy to set up easy to get going really good sound quality particularly for the price been using this now for probably about two years and i've never looked back this is what i use for most of the time it's also got a headphone pass through as well which is great if you want to listen to how you sound and it's also got a volume control and a mute button on the front my second microphone is this Behringer microphone which I just have here on this boom. It's ideal really for when I'm live streaming, I can keep my hands free to go onto the mouse and keyboard. It's really straightforward to use via this mixer here which is a Behringer mixer. I've had this for years ever since I first started live streaming. So put all together, this is what my equipment looks like. So this is both where I stream, where I generally play games, new and old, and also where I edit videos as well and record some videos. It's where I spend most of my time to be honest and it's great, I love it. So this is what I used to edit videos, this is DaVinci Resolve 16 Studio. I was previously on Adobe Premiere Pro, absolutely love Premiere Pro, don't get me wrong, it served me well. I upgraded to it from Elements 13 several months ago. Love Premiere Pro but it's just the monthly cost is way too much. I decided instead I was just going to make one payment to have DaVinci Resolve. It's highly recommended by many YouTubers including Carl Plays and also Sarah Dietschy and it's just a, it's a really good piece of software very powerful easy to use you've got everything that you could want it does take a bit of getting used to the interface isn't quite as versatile as premiere pro premiere pro just feels nicer to use it's really difficult to explain unless you use both of them but that being said anything you can do in premiere pro you can do in resolve with a couple of exceptions but nothing that's going to cause problems with your workflow i think the only thing that i do miss is the dynamic linking between premiere pro and after effects and photo Photoshop etc that I do miss and of course there's also the learning curve getting used to how to use a different software changing your workflow I'm still trying to get my workflow get it working efficiently etc so my videos they're still a little bit iffy but as I get used to resolve they should improve in time any feedback though and criticisms on my videos certainly do let me know any tips and tricks for resolve do let me know as well but yeah I highly recommend it there is a free version as well which you can download so you can try out the free version if you want that is also fantastic if you do use something different to DaVinci Resolve or if you use Adobe Premiere, pop it in the comments below and let me know what software you use to edit videos. 
color grading as you can see here is where it absolutely shines the color grading in davinci resolve is fantastic it's so good so easy to use and anyone can just pick it up and start playing around with, with different luts with different corrections it's got a node based system as well so you can correct different clips or add to them you can put on s curves change the gamma do your highlights your shadows etc it's very powerful and this is actually what davinci resolve was originally good at before it became a, a fully fledged video editor people use this for professional video grading the last bit of software that i use is xbit broadcaster of course this is used for live streaming games capturing game footage etc it's excellent very versatile easy to use i can use this to stream live to places like twitch and youtube or i can record locally onto my computer can i record from external sources or from the computer itself anyways that's all for today's video i hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment below let me know what you use to edit your videos what camera you use etc